You are a horrible bitch when not even good dick will satisfy you. Because in your mind, see, something happened to you. Something happened to you. How much y'all want to bet that Azalea Banks' first love, the nigga she was really, really, the first love, y'all know about that first love, the motherfucker that when you find out they was cheating, huh, felt like that shit took a piece out your body. Bad. Yeah, I've been hustling in the dough. Baby, I've been grinding. Go hard on these bitches and these hoes. I know they like it. No seeds, no sticks up in the troll. I smoke that fire. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am Ayo Conseco, leader, fearless leader of Ayo Nation. And this is Are You Serious? As in, Cardi B and team, are you serious? I think that in any war, surrender is the worst loss to suffer. Surrender, it says so much about your character. It's kind of, it's better to be slaughtered, you know what I'm saying, down to the zero than to just say, fuck it, I give up. I'm just, I'm just gonna give up. You deleting your, you deleting your account, it says, it just speaks volumes. It, it says like, I am ashamed that what I talked about before I got on was being a Latina. I, which, which we can look at, you know, some of your old pictures and shit like that and tell that you was on that Mexican shit, whatever like that. Even to the point where Fuck this shit, dog. Like, I don't like the way y'all motherfuckers is choosing to ride and then choosing not to ride when the ratchet motherfucker turns out to be a Mexican ratchet person or African ratchet person. Why in the fuck are you identifying with this ratchet shit anyway? Y'all shouldn't be giving a fuck about what the fuck she looks like. Uh, her, her, her eyes too sunken back and uh, cold sores on the side of her mouth. All y'all hoes is wearing makeup and weave. Let a real beautiful bitch, you know what I'm saying, come out and say something about a bitch. Because Azalea Banks, like, ho, you nasty as fuck. You a nasty looking hoe. And I don't like the fact that motherfuckers is riding with Azalea Banks only because y'all ready to get Cardi B out the door. And y'all ready to get out the door because y'all didn't have y'all time with her. And this is what's wrong with artists. I keep trying to tell you artists, if you don't come in the game with some type of talent... You're going to lose. You'll win like Fetty Wap won, and then you'll fall down. You'll win like Sci Baby won, and then you'll fall down. You'll win like any other of these motherfuckers who came out. Cash Out, uh, TK and Fly, whatever the fuck, man. You can come out with a song and get a couple of songs and win whatever like that. But if you don't have talent to fall back on, you're going to lose. What y'all um, supplemented talent for nowadays is charisma, character, uh, being enthusiastic, so, like somebody that it can entertain. But what you forget is people who are cooning, that's all it is, you cooning, jumping up and down, ah, look at me, look how stupid I am. I am the stereotypical black person. I am what the white people want black people to be. Look, 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 that means that the people who fund you will put more money into it because it it's pretty much, they're incentivizing what they already want. They want people to see this, man. So you got people who wouldn't have uh, necessarily invested in a in a rapper. Now they're investing because now this rapper will make people want to smoke more cigarettes. This person will make people want to eat more McDonald's. This person will get more people into our private prisons. I, I don't, I don't want to have to take conversations about stupid bitches and bring it back to what we really live because you have someone you have someone right now who's in jail you have someone right now that's damn near close to death but they still smoking cigarettes you have someone who has lost all control of their life and the way that they fake their reality and pretend that they're in control of it is by partying at different clubs at nighttime and shit like that, but you've lost them. You've lost that person 
You've lost your loved one. Your loved one is no more. They're dead. Now you have this shell of a person. And the way that they drown out all the, the, the you know, all logic and all, you know, all the things that should make them come back to reality and fix their life is this type of music. Music that has no real message except keep doing what you're doing. People don't want to hear about what they should be doing. People want to hear about what they're doing right now. So the fact that you can have this type of music and this type of person be on top of Zelia Banks is no better. She's more talented, but she's no better because outside of the booth, she's shown, and inside the booth, she's shown herself to be exactly what the white supremacists want. A nigga bitch. We're gonna promote this nigga bitch. Every time you hear about this nigga bitch, she doing some nigga bitch shit. You're not hearing about her, and they're not gonna let you hear about when she fed the homeless. They're not gonna let you hear about when she um, did this good thing. They suppress all that. You have to go looking for that, but they're gonna throw the bullshit in your face, free of charge. You guys don't want to hear this. You don't want to see this. And I feel like I wouldn't be doing what the fuck. There's no reason for me to be doing this if I'm not going to bring this right back to where it belongs. Isaiah Banks told Carter B exactly what the fuck she was. Gave it to her straight. What she gave her was the truth. The hard, unedited truth. She gave her her truth. Now, Isaiah Banks, let's tell you yours. You're a miserable bitch that all you do is tear people down. That's what you do. This is... That's why your fan base is miserable bitches who hate the bitch that's shining. The bitches that are rooting you on to take Cardi B down is bitches who are already down here and they want them Cardi B to be eye level. It's kind of like when you watch Training Day and uh, Snoop Dogg was talking, uh, Snoop Dogg was getting into it with uh, with Jake and uh, he told Denzel, put me in the front seat with him. I bet y'all whoop his ass because that will make them because Snoop Dogg was in a wheelchair. That would put them on an even, even playing field. A lot of these bitches, and it's, it's a lot with these hoes. Niggas too, I'm going to speak to you niggas, but with these bitches, you black females, it's no good the way you revel and bask in other black females failing because you don't like it when they feel like, have you noticed this, my nigga? Have you noticed this with your bitch? How much she enjoys drama, whether it be on TV, social media, or in her real life. She truly enjoys drama. You can tell it because no matter how 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 condescending she talks about the drama, she talks about it. How seldom is it that she talks about her building something? Notice this about your loved ones, your friends, your bitch. Notice how little they talk about building anything for themselves. Notice how seldom it is they talk about what they, they're trying to do right here in the future. Also notice how little they act upon those words if they do speak about it. But notice how much they talk about tearing somebody down or t talking about what someone does wrong. And then you need to look at that person that they're talking about. Usually you can see exactly why it is they want them to be destroyed. This is what this is. Dark skinned bitch, light skinned bitch. This is what this breaks down to. Dark skinned bitch, light skinned bitch. No different. Same thing. It's the, the same beef. Dark skin, light skin. What is the dark skinned girl doing? What is the light skinned girl doing? Dark skin girl pulling, light skin girl trying to stay the fuck up. That's it. And that's what we're doing. This is what we're based on. Notice in your real life. Notice if you're the one doing this, catch yourself when you do it because a lot of y'all don't know that you're doing this. It is hate. If you're talking, if you're criticizing someone that has nothing to do with your life, you're hating. Criticizing, criticizing. It don't got nothing to do with you. What she doing with her old man ain't got shit to do with you. Mm, show. I wish you motherfucker. 
See, that's why, that's why, see, that's why I ain't worried about getting no man. She couldn't, he couldn't do me like that. Ain't nobody gonna drive my car and drop me off. Mm-mm. He had an hour ago, but the whole time, she wouldn't give a fuck if a nigga came and drove her car and didn't pick up from work. As long as a nigga was at the house, when she got there, she'll walk her ass home. No bitch wanna be lonely. Let's talk about how we feel. What's wrong with Iggy Azalea? What's wrong with this bitch? And it seems like even if you had an old man, uh, 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 sweetheart Azalea, uh, even if you got an old man, you wouldn't be satisfied because what you live for is chaos. You are a horrible bitch when not even good dick will satisfy you. Because in your mind, see, something happened to you. Something happened to you. How much y'all want to bet that Azalea Banks' first love, the nigga she was really, really, the first love, y'all know about that first love, the motherfucker that when you find out they were cheating, huh, felt like that shit took a piece out your body. Bad. Azalea Banks, her first love, cheated on her when bitch. This is what took place. I want you bitches to please. Please. Just. Just. You don't have to watch my video because I speak to y'all a lot, whatever, like that. I try to put y'all on game with y'all niggas in y'all relationship and shit like that. But just start in your mind. Just when. Try to catch yourself when, whenever you're not saying something positive about a person, which is. Oh, that's. that's that's nice. That's that's good. With not condescending, not sarcastically, but actually helping somebody, saying something good about somebody. That's how you should like catch yourself when you're saying something negative. If you're saying something negative and you feel good about it, you have a problem. If you feel good, talk. If you laugh and you feel good, that's what generates your day. Because it's not going to be hard for you to notice because you do it every day. This is how you know you're a miserable bitch because you do it every day. And then how miserable you all goes into how many times a day do you do it. I hope I'm not losing y'all. If I'm losing you, go in the comment section and let me know. Because this ain't about Azalea Banks and Cardi B. This is about light-skinned bitches and dark-skinned bitches, pure point blank. The light-skinned bitch came out acting like the dark-skinned bitch. And the dark-skinned hoes don't like it because they feel like if a dark-skinned bitch act like Cardi B act, they'll tell her to sit down and be more classy. And I understand the anger from that. But we have to fix what's wrong with us before we can talk about the dynamic of how fucked up we are. If it, I'm trying to make sense to you because, first of all, who the fuck should want to be praised for being ratchet? We got to fix that in our mind first. Our mind is already fucked up. That's kind of like a nigga wanting to tame the street. Talk about what's wrong with the street. My nigga, it's the street. Why the fuck do you want the streets to be straight? You know what I'm saying? It's already a fucked up situation, but I'm not finna keep running with y'all. Y'all make sure y'all watch these videos because y'all need some fucking help. Real talk. I'm gonna have to write y'all a fucking prescription for real. Hey, you can say go to the doctor and shit, not the teacher, the doctor. You know what I'm saying? It's a big face podcast. Y'all make sure y'all fuck with that PayPal. Shout out to everybody who donated and shit like that. Once again, fuck with the Instagram, AO Nation, y'all already seen that shit, whatever. Um, all my artists, you have to go to the Facebook Messenger. I will not respond to any messages. On my Instagram, Facebook Messenger only. I'll see y'all in a minute. Are you serious?